ready? This is rule zero. Because, you know, here on Rule Zero, we talk about intersectional dynamics and actionable information. And what it comes from, it was expressed years ago on Chateau Hartiste in the form of the 16 rules for Poon or commandments for Poon. Mm. And it took some of these fundamentals and stated them in such a way that was really interesting. Number four was basically never play by the woman's rules. Never, never. I mean, test. Test. anytime she sets a rule for you, she's testing you. Exactly. And you know what's really interesting? Or, about or she's no ahead. good. Or she's no good. And you need to move on. I mean, it. this is so fundamental, you know. They break rules for their alphas and they make rules for their betas. At least that's been kind of our moniker here for quite a while because it explains so much in so few words. It's like that elegant formula. In math, that's only one inch long and explains the universe of relationships, right? Uh, it, it's even more fundamental than that. It's Sun Tzu in The Art of War said many things like this. You know, you don't play by your enemy's rules. And we all have rules. So you want to win in this game of relationships, never play by her rules. Well, here's the thing. Who makes rules? People in charge. People in charge. Mm -hmm. oh, the one with well, authority. If if the man the has authority, is supposed to be the, the authority, rules. then why is someone underneath him making rules for him? Mm -hmm. So I want to read the 10th rule here to you guys, because this one actually says it all. When you get rules like this, you really don't have a relationship. You have basically mm -hmm. a loss here. This is a loss of resources, affection, time. All of this is going into a dark hole. 10, we randomly... We ask before we randomly touch each other at least half of the time. Think about this. Had had to set this rule because he loves excess cuddling and touching. He's probably a normal dude. He wants to grab normal that guy. ass. He likes blowjobs. Yeah. yeah, but as much as I love him, I really need my space. So now, in so respect to me. She's not attracted to him. The guy she's writing right. about, she is not attracted to him. She does not, not want all. to fuck. It might seem like a weird rule, John, especially since we've been together five years. But only recently Relationship's almost over. did I realize mm -hmm. I shouldn't just endure cuddles for his sake. I'm Near the other, we have to say I farted. We always squeeze each other's butts before going to sleep. Oh, what the well, hell? wait a minute. Is that, is that unwanted touching or is that like approved touching? Like, I'm confused. Is that a random? Random. Grab? Random. I have so no idea. Like, that's that's so problem. <laughs> this is the problem. The problem, you know, when when girls start making rules on their own, they're faced with the paradox of choices. Particularly, women have that adolescent kind of emotional mindset. I want this rule, but I want that rule, but I want this rule, but no, 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 I don't want to forget that rule. And so they're presented with this circular. What did we used to call it? The hamster wheel, Ryan. Didn't you talk mm -hmm. about that today? Yeah, it's the emotions. Yeah. They just sit there. They're running. They're furious. A lot of energy. Nothing comes of it. Right. This has been known since like the 90s, as far back as I can remember. Probably <laughs> further. I'm sure in the 70s, they just called it something different. So what if you put the guidelines in place and, you know, you don't have to be mean. You don't have to be a dick. It works so much better. Mm -hmm. But this isn't the only ones. I mean, a long time ago, Ryan, guys would, would smack their women when they acted like that, though. They would pull the Sean, Sean Connery, Connery rule. <laughs> they'd pull the Sean, it was a Sean Connery rule. Here's You're six rules like, girls follow before they get in relationships. Though. This is amazing that all these girls write these uh, 
Oh, it crashed. Never mind then. Well, Five like, must follow dating rules. Look at what these girls write. It's pretty interesting. Are, is it real or is this AI? I don't know. Yeah, that's the thing too. We have to we have to question everything we see now. Is it an actual person you know, writing it, or is it a composite of, of of articles that AI picked through and picked the best I, things? I don't see this like right. modern because Ryan, Ryan said before you this one. question everything that people write, whether it's a person or AI. Like I question agree. the source. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> I just wanted to show this one that's being broadcast out there, and this is the feminine woman. Really? How about the feminist woman? Don't ever Don't settle. Ever settle. Hey, idiocracy. <laughs> oh, no. Did it crash? Well, I'm trying to get to the first rule here, and it apparently decided to crash again. But the first rule was really simple. This is six rules smart girls follow before they get in a relationship. Oh, here we go. Finally, it must have been an ad. Check this out, guys. You're going to love it. This is what they're telling the girls. Number one rule. Know your relationship yeah. history will not define your future. Listen to this propaganda. Oh. Sure, you've had your past attempts at love, but you shouldn't let these ultimately define your future. You have to know that your past relationships help shape who you are now, but that doesn't mean that they're going to define who you are going to become. In fact, it might even be an advantage that you had so much experience in relationships just so you know what mistakes you need to avoid in the future. That's such, that's such oh, an abusive okay. thing to tell women. Think about it. Think about it. Like It's like me telling a guy, hey, man, your, your past violent actions don't matter. The people you killed, it doesn't matter. It doesn't define who you are. You just kill them no, you, you're still going to prison. You're still <laughs> look at these happening. girl rules. Look at these. Always uphold your independence. Yeah, how's that working out? 44 year old, huh? <laughs> Alcoholic huh? on this pill? one. Yeah, keep in mind there's nothing wrong with being single. 50 year old dog mom, no problem, right? <laughs> oh, don't dwell on the small and there's 60 year old dog mom what? who has to go to cancer treatment all by herself. Yeah, don't settle for anything less than what you deserve. You should never be so desperate to be in a relationship to the point you start settling for things. You know, that I don't have a problem with that rule, but the thing is, is like <laughs> they think they deserve more than they do. It's Nobody the deserves any you have to yes, earn things. Up. Exactly, but you earn it. Like, hey, you know what? If you have to earn things. Nobody exactly. deserves the damn thing except pedophiles deserve it. Do you earn what you deserve? <laughs> <laughs> well well like, put, you know, John crazy because it's just like when when you think about these girls in like their 50s and saying i don't need a man no no it's not that you don't need a man it's that you can't get the man that you desire so you are now forcing yourself to have this mindset of being contempt without needing them you know it's like you you just can't get what you want like i think we had like one of the girls on on rule zero jenna was like i don't need a man sure you don't need a man because society has made it easy for you but the fact that you're saying that is because you're bitter because you want a man, but you can't get the man that you want anymore. And it's just like you're you're trying to, you know, boast your independence, right? And then with the when women say that to guys, like I look, I don't need a man, I want a man. Okay, yeah, sure. You're saying that to try to make it seem like you have some power, right? <laughs> like I don't need well, you, but I want you. It's it's there. It's women are put in a a lose-lose situation psychologically by society and how they're sort of the social conditioning is though, because the social conditioning says that if they're not strong and independent and don't need no man, then they're less valuable. Right. And have, you know, have a relationship with a guy that's going to lead them and take care of them in some ways. You know what I mean? So they want the guy that's the dominant guy that would take care of them and that would require for them to be submissive. That would require for them to do things for that guy, qualify to that guy, do all of these things that social conditioning says, well, if you do that, you're less valuable. So they get stuck in this weird spot where when they meet a guy that makes them want to do all those things, their anxiety goes up and they start to do maladaptive, destructive behaviors and they get dumped. And then they resent the guy for it. And then they go for a guy who, We'll let them be strong and independent, right? And just whether they're weaker guys or they just don't care enough. And then, and then of course, they're not as attracted to that guy. And so they're just stuck in this thing. It's really a shame, you know, when you think about it. <laughs> so hey, there's a comment in the uh, yeah, which one? comments here from KM. It says, women don't have to be financially dependent 
on uh, men anymore. Beta males want to be providers. Mad everywhere about that fact. Uh, no, it's not that men are mad because they can't be providers. It's that women are less attracted to the men that they have the same amount of money as. Mm -hmm. You can do those expectations. And a lot of guys don't want to hear that. They love it. That's why calling girls whores always sells on Twitter. Because <laughs> everybody could be like, yeah, it's the chick's problem. I'm fucking awesome. It's like, no, you're not. No, <laughs> not even a bit. Of, and girls you're, like you're yelling at chicks that won't even bang you. you. Yeah. Like, like you're yelling at chicks that won't even bang you. Like, like you're wasting time. You yeah. know, but like, you know. Now, if you're banging this... chicks, feel free. Go ahead. Cuss them yeah. out on Twitter if you want. <laughs> Logan like, Paul could start cussing out that hoe on Twitter. And Logan or Jake? Which one's got the hoe? Logan. Logan, Logan, Logan can start hus cussing hoes out on Twitter because you know he's banging. You know what? I want to I want to pull oh. up something. <laughs> I want to I want to pull up something Thor here. Kind of goes to the title here. All Please. right. You know, I always got to come up with a biblical reference. All right. You know, guys. And here we go. Uh, to Adam, he said, because you listen to your wife and ate the fruit of the tree, which I commanded you, you must not eat from. Curse is the ground you walk on because of you through painful toil. You'll eat from the from it and all the days of your life. So keynote there because you listen to your wife. All right. Because you listen to women's rules, <laughs> your life is going to be problematic. Can we just say it's a little biblical there? <laughs> a little. And then, you know, I'll, I'll tell you this, though, for uh, those that are out there and <clears throat> any of the girls listening that want to make these rules, they're, they actually want you to make them. They are much they. happier in a relationship when you do. It feels secure. It produces guide rails. Speaking of personal experience, there is, I know somebody in particular that would like those guide rules and be able to meet them that would make her quite fulfilled uh, because it's been taken from her. So it's, it's an amazing thing to watch, you know, mm -hmm. when you provide those, it's the, the relationships. It's really an amazing thing to watch your girl Hold when on. you give her yeah. a commands, when you tell her, you know, you need to do this, you need to do this. I, this is what I'm looking for. Like they light up. I can't wait to do it. I can't wait to please you. Like, Guys, do uh, check out the chat. Uh, free chapter and video on my audiobook is available in the comments below. Go check out a dominant masculine presence. And contrary to popular belief on my haters, it is not a BDSM book, although I might be able to write one like that. So mm. anyway, go check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks, guys. And uh, we'll see you next week on Rule Zero Skull. Masculinity is in crisis. What are we to do? We need to acquire a dominant masculine presence. Now available on Amazon. Masculinity is in crisis. Men's masculine behaviors and traits have been suppressed by popular culture. Why has it become so popular to shame, guilt, insult, masculinity, and masculine behaviors? After 50 to 70 years of this has resulted in a very large subset of men who have become weak, useless, and crisis pathetic state for boys and men that leads to depression and violent despair. A dominant masculine presence addresses this very dilemma for the individual man and it firmly establishes why this is what is desperately needed by the individual man today. In this book, clearly defined masculine traits and behaviors and the emotional durability provided by traditional masculinity are presented as a guide to what every man should embed into his identity. Putting these principles and behaviors into practice will motivate and direct your path step to step to create for yourself an authentic dominant masculine presence.